What up everybody, it's iPadBeatMaking.com here today with a really exciting update for Audio Evolution Mobile. This is the one that we have been waiting for. It's already been really nice when using it with audio recording, but the MIDI features just went to a whole new level. Now, if you've ever watched one of my lives and asked me about Audio Evolution Mobile and said, hey, should I get it as a DAW? I probably answered saying, yeah, if you're using it for audio recording, it's great. But if you're gonna use it for MIDI, I don't know. You're gonna have to take a look at some of the MIDI features in other videos and see if it is something that you can get with. I personally am not cooking up any beats inside of Audio Evolution Mobile when it comes to using MIDI. But after this update, there is a chance that that could change. The update now allows you to go immediately from the audio unit MIDI app. So like your Atom Piano Roll 2s, your Scalar Controls, directly onto the timeline of Audio Evolution Mobile. And what do I mean exactly? Well, let me show you. I'm going to pull up an app now. Let's, uh, let's get a good piano in here. Let's get a Pure Upright. Okay, we've got Pure Upright loaded, and let's make sure we got Playback Art. Perfect, and now I'm gonna go to the Audio MIDI, and I'm gonna use uh, Scalar, uh, just because that's going to allow us to get some music instantly going here with the chord set. Currently, we only have one. Hopefully, in an update, more get added, because as a lot of you like to probably do, you probably like to stack your audio unit MIDI effects apps. You probably like to um, run it maybe through some randomizers or a generator of some sort along with Adam Piano Roll 2 or maybe Scalar or whatever. You've got your own chain, you do what you do. And I can even drop the piano out of it. I could keep the piano also, but I'll drop it out. And let's just go with a random chord set. All right, so just to show you guys really quick here, we've got nothing currently on the timeline. So let's go ahead and enable a metronome. Hopefully that will work. Now the new button is this record button up here. If you go ahead and enable that, you will be able to play your pads directly onto the timeline. If you have uh, Adam 2, piano roll MIDI inside of the uh, audio unit MIDI effects. You just have the record button on, hit record down here while you've got this enabled and it will play through to the regular timeline, which is really nice. And I'm gonna demonstrate that now. Just some random chords, um, but let's go check it out. And there we are, we've got our MIDI data here. And let's go ahead and play it back, make sure it came through correctly. So let me go back and do that again. It appears there may be some latency, so that might be something um, to keep in mind. So what I would do, what I would recommend you probably do is, cause there's latency for me, maybe there will or won't be for you, is I would wait a bar. All right, so we got that there and let's see if that captured everything now. Looks like we got it. All right, so that works. So yeah, what I would do is I would make sure that you just give it a bar and then after that you can, um, let's turn on our grid here, display and snap to grid. Um, let's go ahead and change that to, let's do an eighth note. That way we can, yeah, get right to where the issue is. Let's go ahead and, 
move these notes right onto the grid and now we should be good to go and we can go ahead and move that right to the beginning and I think we're good But what about if you've got MIDI inside of Atom? How would you deal with that? Okay, well, what we're gonna do is to do this fast, I'm gonna go ahead and remove Scalar, go ahead and add Atom, and I'm going to record into Atom, and then I'm going to um, delete the track on the, the main um, timeline. So we'll go ahead and turn on our recording for inside of Atom. All right, we've got that there in Atom, and let's go ahead and remove this clip just to show you how to get your MIDI data from Atom back onto the timeline here. So we've got our MIDI data inside of Atom. We're just going to press record here, and then we are going to hit record right here. But what I can do to go ahead and make this uh, loop a little bit while we are recording, so let's say I've got um, a four bar loop that I've done in Atom, but I want to put out eight bars or 16 bars or 32 bars or whatever onto the timeline just to make the copy and paste process easier. I will go ahead and hit record and just let it play while it loops and it will keep playing. Atom is looping, but the timeline is still just counting up. It's not looping. So here we go. And as you can see, we missed that first note again because it's not that quick. But we're getting it now. And you might be wondering if there's a visual way to see it. No, there's not. It's like Cubase's audio where you can't see it in real time until you stop recording. So you're going to see nothing right now. But we're just letting it keep going. Do one more loop. There we go. So it looks like it even got the first bar that looked like it wasn't gonna get. It even got that it seems. So let's play it back. Let me uh, mute Adam real quick. Make sure that Adam is muted. So yeah, we play that, we get nothing. So we know that when we move this, the MIDI data we're hearing is directly from the timeline. So it didn't get the note right at the beginning. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with the rest of it though. All right, everything seems to work. So that's good news. Other than the way that it initially comes in right at the uh, start of the beat, it's a little late there. Maybe it's my latency settings, my buffer setting or something, but I would just give yourself a half a bar to a bar to start your event. I'd probably, um, you know, let it have a, a, a one uh, bar gap in order to get what you want to get inside the arrange window in cleanly and again you saw the method i was able to go from uh scalar directly to the timeline remove scalar add atom record that data into atom i could then edit it further and then spit it back out onto the timeline or the arrange window of aem so even though we only do got one slot right now that is kind of sort of a workaround you could use. Um, if you have like Adam in the middle of the mix, you could go ahead and put your MIDI down first, send it back into Adam, edit it, and then spit it out again. And also, even though Adam's powered off, it's cool to have it available as a layer so that um, if you're building your MIDI, drawing it in on other instances, you're able to see exactly what's going on, what scale you're in, what notes you've used, and things like that. So with all that said, a few different ways you can make this work, but this is a huge update from Audio Evolution Mobile. 
It's a great DAW at a great price. I really enjoy it for audio. It's got the best auto tune to me on iOS in the form of Vocal Tune Pro right here. This is basically like an auto tune EFX2 effect that you see on desktop. Best auto tune for me on iOS if you want that trap hard auto tune effect that is the one to get in my opinion but anyways back to the midi incredible new development with this app i will definitely be checking it out more building more midi tracks inside of it now with this new revelation i think this is huge and another thing that audio um, evolution mobile has also is you've got evolution one and not to mention you've got the tone booster stuff you've got the whole suite of plugins inside of it so you got like flow tunes that you can buy as an in-app purchase this isn't an aev3 this is the same app but built internally um, into audio evolution mobile so you can support the dev and tone boosters by grabbing that also if you want but evolution one if i'm not mistaken is built on audio kit synth one and this is an internal uh, synth inside of um, Audio Evolution Mobile. So it's definitely got a really nice synth to start you off if you have no other audio units. And Audio Evolution Mobile is available for iPad, iPhone, and Android. Obviously, you're not going to get the audio units available with Android, but you will with iPhone and iPad. So this is a huge, huge update. You can finally edit your MIDI in Atom or whatever else you use and immediately get it to the timeline with no hassle. Very similar to Cubasis's record to track, which is one of the best features about Cubasis in terms of MIDI editing. It now is also in Audio Evolution Mobile. So give this app a chance, check it out. Really fair price, really stable app. I was able to record a lot of audio tracks in this without crashes. It just works for me. The effects racks are incredible. The way that you can go from a bus or a group to another group to another group to another group unlimited is crazy. You can chain these things up all sorts of ways in terms of groups. Some people are really into that kind of stuff. I like group tracks. It's a big part of my workflow and saving resources. But as you can see, I'm going on and on about this app. You should check it out. Check out the new feature. If you got it, be sure to hit the update button at your own risk of course but so far for me it's been working great with all that said it's ipadbeatmaking.com peace